Well, it's uh, it's done. The plugs are in. It sounds good. It doesn't sound like it's missing or anything. I was actually scared to start it, but uh, it came out great. Uh, the plugs were very, very easy. Um, like I said, these newer cars, sometimes they're uh, actually easier to work on. The uh, plugs don't have to be gapped. They're, uh, they're already pre-gapped. Years ago, you, have to gap, you had to gap them. I'm going back when you, have to do, when you had to do points and plugs. That's how far back I'm going with a, uh, a distributor um, instead of electronic ignition. So, um, and, and one thing I didn't know what to do, I'll be honest with you, being that it was a rubber gasket, I probably, I probably shouldn't have or did not have to use the blue silicone. Um, I, I probably could have left it dry, being that it's a rubber seal. But, um, you, know, I, 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 you know, I looked on the internet and I couldn't get any clues, but I put it on anyway. Uh, it dried pretty quick. Um, and, you know, if it leaks, then I know I'll have to uh, redo it uh, or, or try and, you know, you, you can only tighten these down so far. Um, you know, even though the gasket sticks up quite a bit, when you first install it, it'll be up about a quarter of an inch. You're going to say, wow, that's a lot of space. But you've got to make sure everything is seated, especially the two seals in the front. I don't know if you can see these. I don't want to stick my hand down there right now. But let me see if I can come in a little bit. Okay. Right there, right in the center screen. Okay? You have to make sure that these two in the front and the two in the back, you have two in the back also. They have to be seated in the groove. Um, and the only reason I did use the, uh, the silicone, actually, I tried to, um, you know, I, I, I put it in the cover first, but then as I was installing the cover, it, it popped out. Um, so what I did was I took a chance and I, I put the silicone on the engine itself, a very, very light coat, very, very light, and then adhered the rubber gasket to the engine first and pushed down, and pushed down on the two seals in the front. I, I don't even know what you call those, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not a professional mechanic, and I pushed down on the ones in the back. Then I took my time. And I, I, I put the cover on and I slowly felt around to make sure everything was seated. Um, and then you just tighten down snugly. You start here and then you actually go crossways, okay? Uh, if you're going to start here, then go to this side and vice versa, okay? Never do one side, okay? Always go cross, you know, you know like, I don't know what they, I forgot what they call it. Well, cross pattern, I guess. So if you're going to bolt it here, start here, then come over here and do this one. But just snug it down. Do not tighten it. Go very, very easy. Because if this, uh, you know, if the seal is not seated, you will definitely crack the valve cover. It's only aluminum, okay? Um, the only reason I know this is because uh, in my business, uh, there are a lot of aluminum parts that I use. And if something is not seated correctly, uh, if you tighten one side and then the other side is not seated, you're going to crack it, okay? So you just got to make sure everything is seated completely around. Take your time. It's not a fast job. It's an easy job, but not, you know, you got to just take your time very, you know, very uh, cautiously. And then once this is all snug down, not tight, but snug, feel in the back, the seals. Make sure they feel like they're seated. And you'll be able to go from the feel from this side where you'll be able to feel this side and look at it. And then you can go on that side and feel it. And as long as you feel it's, it's, it's seated, then you can proceed to tighten it down. Then you can snug it a little more on this side, then go to that side, then go to this side, then go to that side, then go to this side, then go to that side. And then, uh, you know, you can go all the way around if you want, but, and you can only go so much. Once you feel, uh, you know, the bolt stop, just snug it against the metal. That is it. Do not over tighten it because you'll either strip it or you can do some damage to the valve cover. Okay, so that's just a warning. Um, like I said, uh, you know, if, if you've never done it before, um, but if you have worked on your own vehicle, I suggest you give it a try because there's really not nothing to it. Just make sure that no dirt gets inside the valves and everything. When you have this off, make sure it's perfectly clean. Make sure you don't drop anything in there, of course. Um, you know, I didn't see where anything can go, but I'm sure there's something, you know, if you drop a little screw, you're, you're, you're fucked as far as that goes. Excuse my language. So just be very, very careful when this is opened up. Do not leave any tools or screws near the open valve, uh, a valve assembly. 
Um, the plugs were very easy to install. Uh, I used the uh, the grease uh, on the plugs, and they went in like like nothing. Very very easy. Um, uh, that's really about it, guys. Um, I don't see any noticeable leaks yet, but I'm going to let it run. And of course, I'm going to uh, I'm going to you know uh, put some pressure on it by driving it. Uh, probably not today, but I'll uh, you know I'll rev it up in the in the uh, in the driveway. That's when I noticed my leak was coming out of here and shooting across. Uh, as you can see, it's still still greasy here. I got to clean all I got to clean all this. So luckily, it was a, a visible leak. I'm glad it wasn't in the back because then I would have had to take it to somebody. But luckily, I saw it. And as soon as I uh, as soon as I took the uh, the cover off the gasket, it was actually cracked and broke right there. And when I took the whole gasket apart, it was very, very brittle, as you've seen from the last video. Um, okay, that's really about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, any, you know, anything that you may need answered, I hope I can help you out. And this is Tom, KD6SBR in Glendora, California. And uh, happy holidays uh, upcoming. I know I'm not going to have happy holidays. It's going to be a, it's going to be miserable days for me, but that's another story. Personal reasons. A lot of my cousins and friends know, but that's a whole other story entirely. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and we'll catch you again. Bye-bye.